to and guys today we are going to be diving into some dirty disgusting nasty secrets that you guys have been hiding from me and also I'm gonna be revealing some of my own nasty disgusting dirty secrets um, let's be honest I am NOT a saint you have seen me acting a fool on reality TV taking baths with people getting into bathtubs with people you've been seeing me farting in jars and doing all types of nasty nasty things I don't like it when we keep secrets from each other guys I don't like when there's this wall between us I want us to open up to each other today and break this fourth wall and just really open up our legs hearts and farts and just get down to the bottom of it of what's this distance that's growing between us so I asked you all on my Instagram to let me know what your dirtiest grossest secrets are and I'm gonna tell you guys my dirtiest maybe not dirtiest but like weirdest secret is that I haven't told anybody and this secret that I have been holding on to for a really long time might just scare the freaking shit out of you <coughs> might actually make my boyfriend break up with me Actually, yeah, if my boyfriend watches this video, he's gonna break up with me. Ah! I can't believe I'm gonna actually say it in this video, but okay, so, okay. Yep, all right, but before I tell the secret that I've been holding onto and harboring for the past year now, I'm gonna go and expose all of your secrets in this video. So let's get right into it. I find online for my boyfriend. Wow. Well, girl, English. Well, no, and I, I think girls also have to crap out the names of these people. <laughs> Just for some privacy sake. I admire how progressive you are. You know, this is 2022. We're not here to judge anybody. I think that's pretty awesome. I think that as long as, you know, there is consent, I think as long as the sluts are consenting. I, you know what? I don't like that word. And also, we're going to have to bleep that word out because I don't know if that is a monetization friendly word here on YouTube. As long as the open, liberal minded ladies are okay with your boyfriend and you and your arrangement, as long as these unicorn ladies that you've got, whatever, are okay with this. I'm into angry unicorns. I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it's fine. I just hope everyone's using protection. That's cool. Wow. 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 <laughs> Damn, y'all just making me realize how boring as my life is. I love smelling and playing to my wife's panties. Again, I don't think this one's weird at, weird at all. You guys are barking up the wrong tree here trying to shock me, okay? I'm the number one entrepreneur in the world. You don't scare me. I actually think that this is pretty cute. In fact, I think that this is a great way to get your husband to do the laundry. In fact, I wish my boyfriend was more into this because then I could convince my boyfriend to do my laundry more often. Like, hey, I have a whole bunch of dirty panties that need washing and playing with, so why don't you go have some fun in the laundry room for the next hour? And while you're at it, there's also a lot of bedding that needs to be done as well. I change the prices on things at thrift stores for cheaper and buy them. That is a, not a dirty secret, that is a thrifty secret. Okay, Macklemore, I like what you're doing here, but also, um, why not do this at like Gucci and expand your hustle to not thrift stores. I feel like you're really undermining your gifts and talents and limiting yourself at the local thrift store. I feel like you could be getting way cooler shit than an old grandma's cat sweater for 99 cents. Think big, boo. Also, that's f***ed up. <laughs> Come on. Don't like thrift stores donate all of their proceeds to charity. You're basically stealing from homeless people and cancer charities. Come on now. That's kind of f***ed up, yeah. I f***ed my cousin. Boom. Straight to the point. Cutting through with all the bullshit. Just getting straight to the point. Don't care. Family picnics. Let's just go straight upstairs and get to business. 
I mean, did I ever have a crush on a cousin when I was a kid before I knew the legalities of and actually, is it even legal to do this? Yes, it is. I think if you're in like Virginia, you can. Which cousin? Third cousin, second cousin? Listen, I'm not gonna judge. Is it a hot cousin? I don't know where you're from. I don't know what town in Virginia you're in. I don't know how hot your cousin is. There might not be a big selection in Appalachia or wherever the hell you are in South or North Carolina. No, just kidding. I, you know what? That's rude. Listen, I'm, I'm from a small town and I'm sure that there are people in their cousins here too. I bought 23 of your fart jars. 23 of my fart jars. Okay, let's just do the math here, sir. I'm pretty sure you did not buy 23 of my fart jars because you are in a ton of debt or a Saudi prince millionaire, if that be the case. $500 on sale. So 500 times 23, $11,500, okay. You either took some serious cash out of your child's college fund or you got some mad dough to burn through. I don't think you made that purchase. If you did, then you have a serious appreciation for the fine arts. I was having an affair with a coworker's wife once, but she had told about him about it and he was okay. I don't know how I would feel about that to be honest. I feel like if I was having an affair with somebody and they told their partner and their partner was okay with it, I would be pissed off. I'd be like, really? Why aren't they mad? Is it because I'm ugly? Like, I, I want to be worthy of the partner being pissed off about me being the person having an effect. You know what I mean? Like, do you understand? Like, do you get it? I like farts. Also, not a dirty secret. And also, I'm gonna confess a little secret today. I think I've actually said the secret in a previous video. I made a video a long time ago, like three years ago, disgusting facts about me, where I actually confess that I like my dog's farts. If there's anyone out there in the in the universe, in the metaverse, that like also likes their dog's farts, who can help me feel a little less alone out there, please like talk to me, tell me that you're out there because I'm sick of feeling like a fucking weirdo. My ex thing my ex <clears throat> in me in the middle of the mall against the glass guardrail over the first floor. <laughs> Listen, people be doing some weird stuff at the mall. I did some crazy stuff at the mall. Do you know how many times I got drunk at the mall when I was a teenager? I'm pretty sure I threw up in the trash cans at the mall on a weekly basis. I feel so bad for mall security people, people who have to clean up malls, just take care of malls in general. They have to deal with so many dumb young people and teenagers, such as yourself. I just, I feel so damn bad. <laughs> Oh my God. And there you have it guys. Those are some dirty, disgusting secrets. Y'all are a bunch of filthy animals. All right, time for my secret. Are you ready? All right, drum roll. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation. Okay, this is my really up secret that I thought I was gonna take to the grave, but you know what, we're gonna say it here today. All right, so when I first started talking to my boyfriend, I became really quickly obsessed with him. Like I really liked this guy so much and I wanted him to like me back so bad. And I was kind of like lonely at the time and I was catching feelings for him real quick. And I wanted to make sure that he was gonna catch feelings for me too. So I was also talking to my astrology friend who was like kind of witchy and into spells and Ooh, I got this idea that I was gonna hire a witch online to cast a love spell on this guy that turned out to be my boyfriend. And basically I paid like $200 for this witch online to cast a love spell on, on my boyfriend, who was not my boyfriend at the time. I cast a love spell on my boyfriend. And it cost a lot of money. And um, a few days after I cast the love spell, things were starting to heat up between me and my boyfriend. And my boyfriend, who was not my boyfriend at the time, was messaging me and saying like, damn girl, I'm so into you. Like, what's going on? Did you like cast a spell over me? And he was definitely just using it as a figure of speech, but I started 
panicking because I was like, oh my god, what's going on? Like, did this witch like email him or like warn him or is like, or does he like know somehow? Did he like, like see some shit? Did I like send a picture by accident? Did I screenshot some shit by accident? Like, oh my god, have, have I been exposed? Like, you know, I'm a weirdo. So then I started like freaking out. So I like emailed the witch and I was like, is, is everything we're doing here confidential? <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, yes, ma'am, don't worry. Everything is fairly strictly confidential. So I was like, oh, thank God. But that just proved to me that like, damn, this witchcraft is real as And uh, yeah, my boyfriend's like super in love with me now. And um, I guess the magic spell works. So yeah, magic is real. <laughs> real magic does exist. Wow. And now my boyfriend's gonna watch this. He's gonna be like, what the f <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, that was, that, that was crazy. I think my secret was actually crazier than any of these secrets combined. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had so much fun reacting to these dirty secrets. You guys are so dirty. Um, I had so much fun making this video. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you come back tomorrow. I upload every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So come back, I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.